Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to finish talking about HTML so that you can complete your first project. You can see the HTML page I have here where we have uh, all the content and the lists and the table that we made in the previous um, tutorial. And I've added some links up here at the top, three different links. I do not have them going out into the web. As you notice, there's no HTTP colon slash slash in front of it. These are meant to be pages that I have on my current website. And I've set them up in three links. I'm going to have a home page, a resume page, and a links page. These pages don't exist yet, resume and links. And the home page is just going to link to itself because we want the uh, navigation to look the same on every page. So on the pages that are named that, there's also going to be a link to it. And you'll notice that as you browse around the web. And for now, I have them set up in a paragraph. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So we've got three links across the top here. Very simple, but if I want to click on any of these, I can go to another page. If you can, you can see here, if I click on resume though, that page hasn't been created yet, so I get a page not found. Um, but keep in mind, you want to have the same navigation, no matter what it looks like, no matter how simple it is, on every page so that people know where to find it and how to get around your site and become used to it. I'm going to show you a technique that I'd like you to use for your navigation. If you put it in a list, the items will have bullets and they'll be on top of each other, but we're going to be able to change that for the next project when we do CSS. There's some very nice features in CSS that allow us to take control of the display of the navigation if we put it in a list. So the easiest way to do that is instead of this being a paragraph, I'm going to make it an unordered list, opening and closing, and each one of these I'm going to make into a list item, and I will do it for all three, and any time that you can copy and paste, you should do so, and closing the list item. And so now we have an unordered list that should put the navigation items in a bulleted list when we refresh this page. And you can see that that's there. So we've got our navigation set up. And the easiest way to handle this is that we want every page to look exactly the same. We want the same logo. If there's a logo up here, we're going to assume that our H1 title in this area will be our logo eventually. And we want every page to have the same navigation. So the easiest way to do this is just start with the page we already have, change the content on it, and then just save it under the new name. So I would go about doing that here. We would want this to now become our resume page. So I'll just take out, I'll take out all the paragraphs below in our lists and tables, keep the body tag and the HTML tag closing, and I'll take out everything that's in this first paragraph. And I'll just say this is my resume page. And it will be a placeholder for the content that we would put in there to be our resume. And uh, I like to also change the title for every page. So this can say Cindy Royal because I like the title to have some element of the site's name, but then also have the name of the page in it. So I've said Cindy Royal dash resume for the title of the page. And then we would do a save as. Be very careful not to save it, because if you save it, it'll overwrite the page that you were working on. And if we just call this one Resume and save it, make sure you pay attention to where you save it, that it's being saved where you want it to be saved with your other files. So now that's the Resume page, and then I want a Links page. So we'll just change this to say Links. And this again I'll just change here so we know that it's the links page we would go of course in later and add the content to that page so again it's file save as don't do a save but do a save as and I'll call this one links and notice that resume and links were named just correspond with what I plan to name them in the navigation so if we go back to our site here refresh this page we should be able to click on resume and links and go around our site and we have, except for the content being completed on resume and links, we have a complete website with three pages created. And that's all that you have to do to complete this project. You need to have a site that has four pages, 
you have to have a home page and you have to have a um, projects page. Granted, it's not going to be the design that you want for your website initially. For project two, you'll be able to redesign it, add some styles to it with CSS, and be able to make the page look a lot better, make the entire site look a lot better. Um, so that's what we'll do for the next project. The next video will show you once you complete your website, how to upload the files to your web host so it'll be available on the web.